There are many ways to go very fast around a track like ours. You can choose four-wheel drive or rear drive, mid-engined or front-engined, great big V12 or little V8 with a turbocharger. All those options are here in this group. There are two super Mercedes here, the SLR and the SLS, and the car Clarkson says is the best car he's ever driven, probably in the world, the Lexus LFA. But if there is one standout car in this group, it surely has to be the McLaren F1. The only car here where you sit in the middle. The only car made of real gold. The only car that will still silence any group of men as it drives by. Right guys, so welcome back to another Forza Motorsport 5 video, JSR 15 here, and another intro where we won't be using any of the cars shown. If you remember last time we finished off with this car and I thought it was that like, uncontrollable, I just went into the pits and let it drive for me. But this time we're doing the A class, so a few of the cars we've got so you can get these in alphabetical order this time. We've got a Ferrari, which should be up first. Um, here it is, the 458 Italia, we'll be using this one. Then we've got a, Maz a Mazda, really, okay, a Mazda. Uh, whereabouts is M? That, that's actually the Mazda we're going to be using, the number 7 Andretti Autosport USF 2000. I think that's how you pronounce it. Then we've got a Renault or a RUF rough Porsche, whatever. A Renault, this is the one. Renault Spark SRT01E, the electric car. And then the rough, I believe it's this one, the RT12S. Just jump in with the rough. Alright, so in France for the first race, I believe we're on the Bugatti circuit, I believe Circuit de la Sarte or something like that, in the RUF 12. Let's begin this, come on. I know this car is a bit drifty, I do know that. I don't think it's as drifty as last episode's the Ferrari, but we shall see anyway. That's an interesting paint job you've got for that Audi there. Come on, see if we can get a win out of this. I know last uh, episode we managed to get, I think, one win out of four, which, which wasn't that good. I must say, it wasn't good at all. But are you up? I've, I've realised, well, I've just realised actually, in 4 6 there isn't any. And I don't know why we haven't, we haven't got any Porsches either. So I don't know if DLC is going to be coming like with Porsche or something like that, because we don't have any RUF either. Or Ruff. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I think it's Ruff. I'm going to call it Ruff. But yeah. I, I like them. I like them. I when I signed up the series, like well, not the series. When I first got the game, and before I was doing YouTube, actually, this was. I used to play the game. And I used to choose in each championship the fastest car to use, and I chose this one. And I chose, I think, two over rough. And I was like, oh come on, it's just a copy of Porsche. Why do I want these cars? And then I actually realised, oh yeah, it, it is a Porsche. So there we go. I didn't. I had no idea that rough was a thing before this game. But yeah, it, it's a good car. I've got like the the GT3 I, I, RS. I was going to say an R3S, but it's not a 3 there. I think I don't know if this is the Porsche or the rough paint job for it. But anyway, inside the car. So but again, standard Porsche. There's not much going on. Um, does it, have, it has the miles down there. 3.1. Is that K? KM. 3.1 KM. Okay, we're not doing kilometers. One thing that annoys me about the paint job is the arrow on the back, and I think there's an arrow on the front. I know if you have the Forza splitter, then that's where the tow cable, or I call it a tow cable, but it's like a hook basically goes. This Ferrari is going to end up winning at this rate. We can't allow that. Upgrades for the car, I don't think there is any standard spoiler. Once you get up to these higher supercar type classes, the hypercars, supercars, whatever, there isn't any upgrades for them. Next, we're going to be jumping in with the Ferrari though. See if we can beat the Ferrari versus Ferrari. Do that. Right, so second race in the Ferrari 458 Italia on circuit of the Catalonia. I believe it's in Barcelona. I know it's in Spain. Come on, let's start up this thing. This is one of my favourite Ferraris ever. It's just such a cool car. Such a cool car. You've got the three exhausts at the back. Does it spit fire? Oh, it does spit fire. It drops its mixtape. Now this car, I've, planted, I've painted it, so I've not planted, I've painted the car red and black, because I don't think it just suits the car. You've got black wheels, black wing mirrors, and a black spoiler, and the rest of the car is red. And no, I think it suits it, although we are smashing into a GTR there. Come on, control the car. It does have good handling, I believe it's got like a 7 speed or something, I know it's pretty quick. It's got nothing on the McLaren F1 though, I believe that's like 9.1. Pretty quick, anyway. 
Um, yeah, this is Star Car, I believe, in Forza 4. I believe it was on the front cover of. I should know this, I've got Forza 4 up on my shelf. I should know what the Star Car is. I believe it is the 458 Italia. Yeah. yeah, it's a cool car, a really cool car. I, I like it. I think everybody prefers this than the other ones. Although the LaFerrari, I do like that car. I believe we are using that in two episodes time. I'm looking at my list now, we've got a Ferrari in every episode apart from the last one. Every episode, I believe. Next, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just share. Next, we've got a Ferrari, or is it an Enzo, an Enzo, a Ferrari Enzo, whatever. And then we're a LaFerrari. So yeah, Ferraris, they're common. Last time we had a Ferrari, and then C class, I believe we had. A, no, no, we didn't have a Ferrari then. D class, we did. But anyway, enough of me rambling on. Wait, come on, Ferrari, we should be in front of this guy in front of the Audi. Inside. Okay, so you know it, it's Ferrari, so. They do have a lot of buttons on the steering wheel. I have the Ferrari 458, I think spider wheel uh, behind me, and it's pretty much identical apart from the outline of it. Well, like where my handle, where my hands are, where my handles are. It's not a bike. Where my hands are, that's all red, like bright red, like the colour of the Ferrari. So yeah, this is about the same. Um, sorry, Ferrari. We are Team Ferrari, but come on, you, you don't put stickers all over your car. You keep it one colour. But anyway, about to come to the end now. What car are we jumping into next? Uh, I have no idea. I think we're going to go to... Uh, I think we're either going to give the Mazda... I think we're going to give the Mazda a go, actually. I believe it's on the front of the thumbnail. In fact, no, I'm sure it's on the thumbnail. I'm, I'm 100%. I think I, I think I got that picture off the Forza website. But there we go. Across the line, do a little bit of drifting. That did not work out well. Jump in with the Mazda. Right, so third race in the Mazda, number seven, Andretti Autosport. Can't remember the numbers at the end. I believe this is a DLC car. We're on our Road Atlanta. Yeah, I was going to say something else, but it turned out to say we are on our Road Atlanta. And that launch is absolutely terrible. That launch is pathetic. Look at it. It looks like an F1 car and it has a launch like that. That is so bad. I believe this is like a Formula, is it a Formula C, Formula Gulf, something like that. I don't know much about all the other formulas. I know there's Formula Gulf, Formula Rookie, Formula C, Formula B, Formula A, I think. And I think the Formula A is Formula 1. But I don't know much about any of them. But yeah, I believe this is, well, I think I just said a DLC car. I believe it's one of the last DLC cars to come out for the game. It might even be the last one. I don't know. I know it was in one of the last packs. But it's a weird car, I don't know, compared to some of these other cars, it, I thought it'd be a lot quicker, I don't think I've driven this car yet. Inside the car, you've got your standard like type of Formula 1 type of uh, experience, you know, you've got the steering wheel, you've got a gear shifter that he's probably not even touching, and an Aston Martin that completely wrecks my back wing, would you call it a wing? I, th I think it class as a wing. Upgrades for the car though, um, I think you can take the front bumper and the wing off, but I'm not quite sure. This is this is a not a quick car. I thought it would be quick. I'm literally flooring it as fast as I can, and it's just it's just not driving. I've still got four tire heat. Really, Ferrari? I'm struggling. You choose to hit me off the track. Why? That is so mean. I haven't even done anything to you. I'm just trying to catch up to the opposition or the opponents, and I can't get anywhere. Everyone is just in such quick cars compared to me, and I'm going off the track. Oh, this is a weird car. Hopefully the Renault Spark will be a bit better though. Let's jump in with that one. Don't know what track we're going on to yet. There we go, let's jump in with the Renault. Alright, so the final race we are doing for today's episode is in the RU... No, it's not an RUF, it's a Renault. Where's that engine noise? Exactly, because it's an electric car, there isn't any engine noise. Although there is a light... I think when you get up to a slight speed, there's a big whistle sound, but I believe it's, well, it's part of the electric Formula E. I think it is Formula E. I know it drifts like a mad car, but I'm not going to try and drift it. I'm going to try and at least go flat out on some corners, although it will probably mean I go wide on most of them. But I just wanted to kick its back end out then. Let's go on the grass. It's a bit fine. It's fine. It's fine. Get around this corner. There we go. I don't know much about um, Formula E at all. Now you can hear the whistle. Yeah, I, I, when I went to Mexico, if you haven't seen my trip, I went on the Dreamland. I watched the Formula E Championship or something. They had the 
a uh, little bit of the championships and the amount of crashes that happens and the cars flip upside down the motor stops working it's unreal unreal but now you'll see all these cars take off and me just stuck behind probably should be able to hear the whistle in a minute you can just about hear it i thought that lfa was going to smash into the back of me then let's go on the inside okay so you got your standard formula again with a weird steering wheel uh, okay, so it does have gears. I thought it could be electric since it would only have one gear, but clearly not. Oh, we're on the sticky tarmac. Forgot that isn't a thing in Falls 6 anymore. That view is very interesting. It's like you just want to penetrate something or something like that. Upgrades for the car. Don't think there is any at all. I believe you can put a higher motor in, but that's about it. So you can um, do weight reduction, but I don't think there is many upgrades at all. Another, again, another... I think it was a free DLC car, actually, this. I believe it came with Long Beach Track. I believe both of them came together, but free DLC car, you know, it's always nice to have a free one. Just cut the corner, it's fine. And that's why we don't cut corners, especially in an electric car. You know what? Use the wall as a guide. Okay, we didn't need to use the wall, thankfully. Lamborghini really wants to get up in my old my grill here. I need to take this out. It was embarrassing that we lost with the Mazda. More of a Formula One type car. We're not losing with the Formula E car either. The uh, paint job also, I was, I was looking at the paint job there. Now, standard paint job. The electric power is stand, completely standard, completely stock. It's a good car. It, it's very interesting to say that. Since Ford's more about, more about the, all the, the hyper cars and type thing. Now we've got electric. I like, I like the majority of different cars. About to come up to the finish now. And this is another episode done. So after this one, we've got three left. So there we go across the line. I'm going to pause it. There we go, that is another episode of A-Class Especially Cars done. The Renault, Mazda, RUF and the Ferrari is all done as well. Next we're going to do the S-Class Cars, then we've got R-Class and P-Class and then we're completely done with the game. Then I have no idea what I'm going to play. Maybe the end of Forza 6. I know I'm downloading Plants vs Zombies 2 at the moment, so you might see loads of videos of them go up soon. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Nevertheless, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.